Welcome back to 843 TV. We are here now with Mr. Wayne Morris from WHHI. How are you? I'm doing well. How are y'all? Doing good. So WHHI has had a very strong year. Mm -hmm. And tell everybody what's on the horizon for 2013. Well, hopefully more of the same. Um, <laughs> we, had a, we had a really good year uh, where we saw our, um, our relationship with Hard Gray Cable improve greatly. And um, we moved to Channel 8, which I think a lot of people have, have taken notice of. Yeah. Um, we did some things with our, our lineup, we, you know, kind of shuffling our lineup a little bit so the same things aren't airing at the same time every day. Um, and just overall, from a business standpoint, you know, we're really happy with the community relationships we have and, um, you know, we continue to develop. So uh, we're hoping just more of the same. Um, and what we want to do every year is make everything just a little bit better every year. Um, like our high school sports series. I think if you've watched our football series and our basketball series from the first year to this year, I would, you'd see a huge it's difference. Been a huge difference yeah. in the last. Yeah, so every year we try and add, tweak, and just never get complacent with what we're doing. Um, also, I think you can look for our newscasts. We have Hilton Head, Bluffton, and Beaufort News, three separate newscasts. Um, all of those we're continuing to tweak and get better. So. Um, you know, I would hope that people will see just that, that work paying off on air um, and just continue to make our product as, as high quality, um, as up to date and fresh and entertaining as we can. I think people have definitely taken notice. I hope so. We're trying. Yeah. <laughs> Outstanding. Well, Wayne, it's almost heritage time, so tell us about what WHHI offers during that week. Oh, God, it's the, it's the biggest week of the year for us, obviously, everybody in the area, but um, for us, it's, it's, it started back in 2008 um, when Bill Wagner and Steve Wilmot and the Heritage Classic Foundation came to us and said, you know, we would like to partner with you guys to do a couple of special marketing on site projects. Um, we're, we're the video guys, so they, <laughs> they knew we could provide the video they needed. Um, and that all started with the charter buses. Um, there's these huge charter buses that take people from the parking lot to the tournament every day of the, turn of, of the week. And there's TVs that are on those buses. And so every year we create a DVD and we sell advertising on that DVD. And then they play on the bus the whole week. So it's a ton of frequency to a captive audience on the bus. Oh, that is outstanding. Yeah, yeah. so... Um, and then we've done some other special projects too, but the one big thing that I'm really excited about this year is there's going to be a total transformation of the area on the course between 17 green and 18 tee box. Okay. That's a big deal that they're yeah. shifting that around. Everybody's yeah. It's going to be cool. CBS is moving, so all that space that they took up is gone now. Um, they're moving to a different part of the course. So there's going to be a huge jumbotron in that area. And like the Grey Goose Bar is going to be right next to the, the Jumbotron. And I think Saturday night they're having a concert there. I mean, right. it's going to be a real a cool deal. spot. Yeah, it's going to be the place to be now at the Heritage is that little area. It's just opened up an area That's for more right. activity there. Right. So as a part of that, um, you know, we again, we have exclusive rights to sell, to put the content on the video board. Right. And also sell advertisements on the video board. So local businesses, um, you know, we got you covered on site at the Heritage this year. So not to mention it's fun, and we run a condo, <laughs> and we have we have a little WHHI, you know, party. Sure. Um, so it's just it's a great week, and it's great for business. It's great for fun. Okay. Um, kind of like the expo. So it sounds <laughs> like it's opened up some great opportunities for local businesses to advertise Absolutely. at this event. Yeah, and the, yeah. And the way you know. Um, every, you know, the economy is still not great, so we've, we've priced it fairly, very well, um, and it's a great opportunity. You know, Wayne, speaking, going back to sports, I understand this is the last week of the basketball, WHHI's basketball uh, TV season. How did the season go this year? It went great. Uh, we had five games of the week, and um, we tried to cover all local teams. Um, I think we've, th this is our fifth game this week, and all of them have been within, you know, except for one, has been a close game. Um, so the, we're happy about that. You know, we had some great rivalry games between Hilton Head Prep and Hilton Head Christian, um, Beaufort versus Bluffton, um, just the local, local, local is what we want to push. And we've got some really good local high school basketball players. Um, we also did a Hilton Head High game last week, um, and we covered their girls' game as well. That's the, the first time we had done that. So their girls are very good. Um, their boys are pretty good too. So uh, we've really enjoyed that series. And WHHI Sports, um, which is, you know, our golf show, our heritage coverage, our um, football and our basketball. It's just, again, one of those things that we want to continue to build on. Um, we might be looking at doing it's a fun to watch. show. Yeah, I mean, it who is. doesn't love Good sports? Especially local sports. That's true. You can't get it anywhere else. You cannot. 
Wayne, I was on WHHITV.com mm -hmm. the other day, and it looks great. Yeah. Um, how did those changes come about, and do you see more changes coming down the road? Um, absolutely. Uh, well, basically, um, you know, our company um, has, a, has a whole division for web development. Um, that's a recent thing. Um, but we found this person uh, because we were looking for, to redo our website, and we just couldn't find somebody that kind of got what we were trying to do. Um, and we needed help with social media, YouTube, all that. Well, we found this guy, John Ontal, and his company, and he's done so well, he's a part of our business now. <laughs> so he redid our website. Go to whhitv.com. You can check it out. You can get to all of our shows. You can... Um, you can do show requests, you can get information on advertising, it's all there. It's really easy to navigate. It is. And then our YouTube uh, stuff that he built, I was reading the analytics on Google, you know, Google and YouTube are together, and the analytics of our YouTube channel, last, in the last 30 days, we had 7,500 video views. So 7,500 people watch videos, and it was over 18,000 minutes in 30 days. So people sat on YouTube and watched WHHI's channel on YouTube for almost 19,000 minutes in 30 days. So that's, that's a great. lot of time. That's great. <laughs> yeah. We are viral. It's official. So, um, yeah, I mean, we can offer those same, that same kind of um, productivity to clients. So we, we can sell those things, too. That's great. There's been a huge difference with that. Mm. So we always talk about the new shows on WHHI. So what are some of the shows that have ran the test of time. Yeah, thank you for asking that, because we always do, you know, we want to talk about everything that's new. Well, we need to remember all the things that are maybe not so new, but are great. Right. Um, and some of our partnerships in this area have produced some great shows, like Healthy Living, for one. Um, the hospital, Kelly Presnell, over at the hospital, who does marketing for them, and she's awesome. Um, they help us tremendously with our, with our Healthy Living show, um, which is basically just a great resource um, for people to get health information. Um, Girl Talk has been on the air for... I a remember, long time. I, yeah, <laughs> I remember that was a new show. Um, but it's, you know, it's a test, stood the test of time and a great show for us. Talk of the Town has been a, a community staple for 20 years. I mean, since the station started, I mean, I think everybody's been on Talk of the Town at some point. <laughs> um, and Lines on Design with Debbie Lines. I mean, that's just a great show. It's something like you'd see on TCL or HGTV. Um, she's that good. Um, but it's local. So you're seeing homes in Hilton Head Plantation and Hilton Head Lakes, you're not seeing stuff. It's in a great opportunity different. to showcase the beautiful is. houses yeah. around here. And we've got them. They so. are here. So those are shows that I think, you know, have really been with us for a long time, aren't going anywhere, and just solid. Great. So. Well, thank you for joining us. And make sure that you come back next time for more 843 TV. Where communities come to speak.